everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do the, the loop stitch for these Easter chick uh, booties, um, slippers that we're, we're making. So as you can see I've already got the, um, the top of the booty on the go here and I'm working on the, um, the sides and I'm going to work that up into the sole. But for the loop stitch, um, what you need to do is you put your needle in knitwise bring the yarn around, pull it through, loop it over your thumb, pull it forward and back like this and then you knit here into this loop. Now that might be a little tight there. Okay, and then you've got two little stitches here. You need to bring this first stitch around And then you pull it over your new stitch that you've just done and then that locks the loop in there. Okay, I'll show you again. So you go through the back like you would knit normally. You bring the yarn around. You loop it over your thumb to create that loop. You take it and move it back around and you knit into this new stitch here. And then you bring this stitch over the new one that you've just made. And then you have your, your loop locked in there. Okay, and then you just continue doing that for every, for every loop that the pattern tells you to make. Okay, and obviously if you knit this on smaller needles, um, it can get a little, uh, a little tough. So you might have to use a thinner yarn, um, four ply or something like that, and then you keep keep going with your loops. So hopefully that makes it clear for you um, for when you're making the Easter chick booties. And then yeah, you just keep going and pulling. And as you can see, all of those loops are being created and hanging over each other and on the back you've got your your flat stitch knit side okay so if you have any questions or you don't don't get it um, do leave me a comment um, and I'll, I'll see if I can do another tutorial or get back to you about about it and make it clearer all right thanks for watching bye